a seminar topic of my seminar lasers based on lasers very usual device generally we are in most of uh, uh, application we use lasers the topic of my seminar is a fundamental and application and it's a tracing back history and present and uh, uh, some future application of this uh, laser uh, device or uh, laser technology so the outline of uh, my uh, seminar is basically divided in five part in in first part i will show some brief uh, introduction about uh, what what laser stands and uh, some tracing back in history and the uh, second part is uh, just related with uh, some basic principle involved in a laser and thereafter uh, the kinds of laser uh, and uh, in fourth i will show some basic uh, properties uh, of laser light and thereafter in last i will show some applications recent application and some future application of this laser technology now laser what is stand laser so the laser l a s e r the first uh, uh, first uh, character uh, uh, stand to light and then amplification by stimulated emission of radiation that means light amplified by some a uh, basic uh, special process that known as a stimulated emission so here this is this is amplifying medium amplifying medium is a heart of any laser we can say here that this is uh, input this is input and this is output so this is complete diagram diagram of any laser so there are three main part of any laser one is a, a pumping pumping may be uh, optical electrical and some other type of pumping pumping means uh, energy provide to this active medium and the second part is a uh, amplifying medium is known as a heart of any laser also known as a active medium and third and last main component of this laser device or laser uh, 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 involved in laser technology is uh, optical resonator so these optical resonator is a combination of two mirrors combination may be plain mirror a plain mirror may be uh, uh, circular in uh, size so this is this combined uh, of uh, three component known as a uh, laser so this is the main how we can say here that this this is a complete uh, formation of uh, uh, light and this is back and forth amplification of light and this is output uh, light this known as a uh, radiation laser radiation now in go in tra uh, tracing back history of this laser in first time the concept of laser related concept given by first time in 1917 by sir albert einstein thereafter in uh, first uh, before this uh, laser invention a major major microwave amplification by stimulated emission of radiation device uh, produced by two uh, townes and sellos and uh, bosso suggested a practical method to uh, to achieving of achieving lasing lasing oscillation in uh, by, by using ammonia gas thereafter uh, in 1916 that was the first uh, laser ruby solid state uh, laser uh, invented by th maiman that was the uh, first uh, solid state laser though so this is a uh, diagram of a uh, ruby laser so th these are uh, uh, actual laser picture uh, showing now in 1960 the first continuous laser was reported that was the first helium neon gas laser thereafter in 1962 first continuous wave type semiconductor laser and and so on co2 laser in 1963 invention of argon and more laser invented of thereafter and in 1984 first x ray laser using uh, x ray the laser was invented in 2000 more recent uh, 2000 john l hall and theodor w hans developed of laser based precision spectroscopy including the optical frequency comb technique now the basic principle involving in this uh, laser technology so we can see here that these are most three type of transition one is uh, induced absorption very important uh, uh, transition 
in normally when usually in material atoms or ions or molecule in uh, ground state when some energy from external external energy sources may be optically may be electrical provide to the system and the atoms of system get excited and jump to higher energy state so the absorption of energy uh, by some any external sources is known as a induced absorption thereafter spontaneous emission after absorption energy atom get excited and jump to higher energy state and then de excited spontaneously and emitted a random photon this random photon uh, this whole process is known as a spontaneous emission now the third very important uh, part of this any any laser that is known as a stimulated also known as a trigger or induced type of a stimulated emission in this emission or de excitation of atom or molecules or ions from higher energy state to lower energy state by uh, some external photon and trigger this photon to this photon trigger to this higher energy atom and this this uh, the atom get ex de excited in lower energy state and then de excitation uh, one photon emitted and this photon photon go to this uh, photon with same phase and this process is known as a stimulated emission so this is three level diagram of any uh, laser and main part of laser is a gain gain medium or also known as a active medium or amplifying medium pumping very important energy providing through externally this is known as a pumping and optical feedback through optical resonator population inversion also very important in any laser population inversion means uh, usually in any material atoms are in ground state when the energy provided by some externally the atom get excited or molecule excited ions excited and they jump to its higher energy state a situation when the number of atoms more and more its ground state as compared to ground state in is uh, this situation is known as a uh, population inversion so in usually number of atoms are uh, more as compared to higher energy state so this is a population inversion situation if number of atoms more and more as compa compared to its uh, lower energy state is known as a population inversion so this is a animated video with showing some basic of any laser uh, example of a ruby laser so this is the medium and with some atoms active center also known as a active center also known as a gain medium or active medium this is combination of mirror highly polished mirror 100% near about 100% reflectivity this is pumping technique xenon flash tube for providing energy to this active medium there are three main component this is known as a uh, mirror or we have as, as a highly polished mirror and this medium is known as a active medium and this spiral type of uh, tube is known as a uh, a pumping source optical pumping source in in ruby laser in case of ruby laser so this is basic this is the nucleus of any atom and this is the atom atom uh, jump from uh, higher energy state to lower energy state and emit a photon emission of photon so they we can say here that number of photon amplified one photon and then uh, back and forth reflection through this these mirrors number of photons uh, amplified and this is output of any laser so in case of ruby this is uh, ruby uh, output of ruby laser now the next kinds of laser kinds of laser basically in laser technology decided by the medium active medium which was used which uh, which are used in 
medium uh, which are used in as a medium. So generally there are three type of medium, solid medium, gaseous medium and liquid type of medium. On the basis of this medium the laser type decided, solid state laser, gas laser and uh, uh, liquid type of laser. On further laser decided by uh, their uh, output wavelength and uh, uh, continuous wave type are uh, 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 characteristic of radian emitted from uh, laser continuous type or pulse type of laser and on the basis of pumping, pumping, optical pumping, electrical pumping, uh, some chemical pumping and higher modified advanced laser uh, nuclear type of pumping. So these are on the basis of pumping laser also decided which type of laser. These are some properties uh, as compared to normal light, conventional light, the monochromaticity of uh, any laser light is very, very high, means highly monochromatic. Now the directionality means low divergence, means if light is low divergence, means we can say that uh, that is high directional. So in comparison to normal light, laser light is more, more directional, means uh, less divergence. Brightness is a very, very high as compared to normal light coherency means uh, generation of photon uh, in same phase as compared to normal light polarization also very important. Now these are uh, uh, recent application in different areas, laser technology, scientific and research development, meteorological applications, hologra holography, laser material processing, medical application, laser daily applications, military applications and laser fusion. So this is a picture in which showing some uh, applications of this laser technology. So these are uh, some another laser application in various fields. Now the future, future application may be uh, in uh, laser can be used in, in some other uh, areas. One area of research in which uh, have made a big impact that is nanotechnology, the development of uh, super tiny machines and tools, laser light can be controlled very precisely. So scientists can use to it to perform extremely fine operation. For example, laser could be used to cut out parts to make molecule size motors. Laser can also be used as an optical tweezer to handle extremely very small objects such as the molecules also using or maybe used in uh, 3D printing in future. Scientists are uh, be even beginning to use laser to change the shape of molecules. They do this by varying the laser wavelength of output wavelength of laser. Future application of laser also sure to involve new way of transferring of energy. Laser can be uh, transfer several distance or farthest distance. Military application of laser such as a range finder in uh, uh, infrared counter measure and illuminators. Also in high energy laser mobile demonstrator, US using this technology, uh, US working on this technology for future application. So thank you.